Hey everybody, I've got a spectacular video in store for you today. And and that is a video of this. It's the Lionel's new Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Express Ready to Run set. And as you can see, it's equipped with Lion Chief and Bluetooth control. And we're going to be checking out this set today on Toby's Trains. All right, so today we're, like I said, we're gonna focus on this set. It's one I wanted to get when I first saw this at Walt Disney World back in May of 2022. And they have this in pretty much every gift shop in the entire Walt Disney World park. And the retail price for this set is right at $500. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack this baby open. It's nice that the box was, that the flap was held down by with tape. <sighs> and this set has everything you need to get going. It's got the, the train, which includes the locomotive tender, the freight cars, and a 40 by 60 oval of Lionel's fast track plus a power supply and a Lion Chief remote. And also, this set is equipped with Bluetooth, like I said earlier. As you can see, this just fell out. It's a little bag that contains a small bottle of smoke fluid and spare traction tires for the locomotive. It's got the locomotive packaged by itself. Which is nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful or what? Look at that beautiful color scheme. On the cab you got the number 50, which makes sense. You also got the number on the on the headlight. Look at all this elaborate detail all over the place. And I've never had a I've never had a 440 
in my Lionel collection before. This would be my first one. Here's the Lion Chief remote. Look at that beautiful Disney World 50th anniversary logo on there. And this remote requires three AAA batteries. And then there's the tender. And it does have a LED illumination in the tender, which I think is really cool. And look at those beautiful truck side frames on there. Very beautiful with that gold color. And then this little box right here is the power supply. Yep, there's the power supply with the little L Lino logo on there. And then below that, you got the instruction manual, which is very important if you're new to the hobby. And then I believe we got the three freight cars. Yep, wow, absolutely beautiful. We got the box car, the chasing gondola and the caboose the box car here has led lights all over it simulating fireworks the chase gondola has mickey donald goofy and pluto on it and then of course you got the caboose which has minnie mouse and daisy duck and on all three cars you got the 50th anniversary logo on them which I think is really cool. First, take a look at the box car. Very, very gorgeous. Oh, that's cool. It's got an on off switch for the lights. Ain't that neat. And then we'll check out the chasing gondola. Yeah, this this mechanism is responsible for the for the action of the figures on the gondola on this truck here. And now we'll check out the caboose. Very gorgeous. You can see in the center, it's got Epcot on it. Very gorgeous. And then I believe this box contains all of the track right here. And it does. There's four of the eight curved sections of track, 036 curves. And then here are the other four. And then here are the four straight sections. One of these, this one right here, is a terminal section. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, 
this is the the terminal section and the way it works is you plug this end of the power port to the wall and then take this this end of the power cord to the terminal section and then you plug it into the this hole here and the light little red light comes on here and your track has power easy peasy now the way this fast track connects is you line up the pins together like so and then you click them together like that and your track is connected and it's probably the most durable track system in no scale and to disassemble the track it's just as easy like that and you got enough of this to build a 40 inch by 60 inch oval in the set so I'm gonna go ahead and put the track together all right got the oval of track set up so now let's get the train on the track and just like that we got the train on the track all right now we're gonna take a closer look starting with the locomotive as you can see we've got some separately applied details like right here got a beautiful cow catcher right here and you got an operating headlight and then the smokestack up here has an operating smoke unit and to load smoke fluid into the smoke unit you just pour the smoke fluid down the stack behind the smokestack you got separately applied handrails and then you got a separately applied bell and separately applied sand dome here and separately applied steam dome right here with a whistle up top and the boiler bands are beautiful gold color the wheel the driving wheels on this are a beautiful light blue the tender has led illumination in the log load and right here is the drawbar which connects the engine and the tender together and if you want to learn more about this i recommend watching eric siegel's review video of his, the lionel lion chief hogwarts express and also his review video of the lionel lion chief plus mikado the rest of the train is connected by these knuckle couplers here And to couple them together, you just ram them together like that. The boxcar on this set is very gorgeous. It's got LED lights all over the place, which simulate fireworks. In fact, surrounding the lights are what look like fireworks. The gondola is really beautiful, too. And it's got the chase figures with... With Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, and Pluto. And it's got the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary logo right here. And then up top, on, on here, you got the top of the Cinderella castle. The caboose is quite beautiful too. Now before I run this train, I want to show the control switches on the back of the locomotive. Right here, you got the smoke on-off switch to turn the smoke unit on and off. And on the other side, you got the chuff on-off switch if you want to run the train with or without sounds, which I believe is really cool. All right, now comes the fun part. 
to get to power up the train. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the power cord and plug it into the terminal section of Fast Track. Now that whistling tone that you're hearing means that the train is not broken. It means it's waiting for a signal from the Lion Chief remote or from the Lion Chief app with a Bluetooth connection. So in order to kill the whistling, you just turn on the Lion Chief remote like this. And the engine fires up and the engine is good to go. And you get train sounds. And that flashing is from the boxcar that's behind the tender. I'll give you a chance to listen to the stationary sounds for a minute while I add smoke fluid to the locomotive. And according to the directions on page 10, it recommends you add or you prime the smoke unit with four to six drops of smoke fluid. And what I just did there was blow down into the smoke unit to dislodge any bubbles. Now let's check out the sounds, starting with the whistle. And that's activated by pressing the whistle button on the Lion Chief remote. And then here's the bell, which is activated by pressing the bell button on the Lion Chief remote. And then this button in the middle is usually the crew talk sounds but in this case it plays special announcements for the walt disney express or the walt disney railroad welcome aboard the walt disney world railroad we're about to take a grand circle tour of the magic kingdom with stops along the way at frontierland and fantasyland at the magic kingdom anything is possible and we're headed straight to the heart of adventureland It plays a couple of announcements when the train is standing still, and then it plays four additional announcements when the train is moving. Let's go ahead and roll it out.
Lionel also made a couple of add-on cars to go with the set. Here's the first one. This is an aquarium car representing the Magic Kingdom. And I believe it lights up. And then there's this one. This is the Chip and Dale Bobber Boxcar. I'm going to take these out of their boxes and add them to the train. All right, I've got the two add-on cars added to the train. The next thing I'm going to do is demonstrate how to operate this train with Lionel's Lion Chief app. First thing you want to do is apply power to the track. That whistling means it's waiting for a signal. And I've got the Lion Chief app on my iPad right here. I'll launch it. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you open the app. You can go to this area here. It will show that it's picking up the locomotive. And you can blow the whistle. And ring the bell. And activate the announcements. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Railroad. We're about to take a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. With stops along the way at Frontierland and Fantasyland. You can also switch the directions of the train like this. And you can also adjust the pitch of the whistle and the bell like so
It can also adjust the overall volume of the train, like this. You can also adjust the individual volumes right here, like of the whistle. And the volume of the bell. And the announcements and of the chuffing right here. And this train is also also equipped with Lionel's voice control. And that's activated by Oh. This is the speed menu. You can turn off the smoke unit if you want to. And you can adjust the momentum and you can adjust the speed limit right here if you're going to put this in the hands of kids. And of course, this is the speed control right here. But as I said before, this is equipped with Lionel's voice control. You can do so by tapping this. And say a command like, blow the whistle. Oh. You can say a command by pressing this. Blow the whistle. Pretty neat. You can do it. Activate it to do different speeds. Slow speed. Medium speed. High ball. Medium speed. Slow speed. Stop. Pretty cool. The Lionel voice control is if you want to run the train without using the throttle or any of the announcements. It's really cool. I just thought I'd give you a demonstration of the Lionel Lion Chief app. It's pretty neat. And something I discovered on the Lion Chief remote recently is that you can adjust the volume by, pre by pressing and holding this button here. Like, you can turn the wheel clockwise 
for more volume and counterclockwise for less volume. And when it's at the volume that you want, you let go of the announcement button, but quickly turn the throttle back to center, otherwise the train will speed off. Like that. It's pretty cool. That wraps it up for this review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This set is absolutely gorgeous. Along with the two add-on cars. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and comment on this video. And don't forget to hit the bell to keep up to date on upcoming videos. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. I am Toby Pazman for TKP Studios, and I will see you next time. God bless.